Welcome back in. I am Fentress Chestnut, and this week on Arts and Entertainment, I'm reporting from Lenore, where we are talking about a major event coming up this weekend, starting tonight and through Sunday. Caldwell County Schools presents Shrek the Musical. Well, I got in touch with one of the co-directors, and here's what she had to say about their production. So, first of all, the big event going on this weekend that everyone is talking about is Shrek the Musical. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, we, um, the Caldwell County Schools, uh, which is um, about 18 of our schools, students from them are going to be producing Shrek the Musical here at the J.E. Broyhill Civic Center this weekend. Okay. You said about 18 of your schools, so it's not just the high schools, it's everyone. Exactly. We have uh, like first grade all wow. the way up to 12th grade, so a lot of ages represented in the, in the production. Okay. And you are the co-director for this production, correct? That is correct. Um, Jenny Fry, who is the theater director at High Brighton High School, and I are co-directors for the show. Okay. Now, you said you have first graders in this production. What does it take to get a production like this together? I can imagine from ages ranging from 5 years old to 18. How do you get all those actors to combine and come up with a great production? Well, we had auditions back in December, mm -hmm. and um, we had over 100 kids to audition. Wow. So it was hard that choices had to be made. Right. So um, we've got around 80 students on stage and backstage. Okay. So I guess, tell me, is this more like the movie because everyone fell in love with the movie? Tell me how different is it from the movie or is it the same or what's involved here? The, um, the plot is exactly the first movie. Mm -hmm. um, the difference is that with the added songs and music, we get to dive into the characters a little deeper and really have a better understanding of who they are and how they came to be who they are. Really? Okay, so go into detail about that. What do you mean? Well, for example, Shrek. He has several songs uh, when things happen throughout the play, uh, when he, you know, uh, realizes that he has feelings for Fiona and okay. he's going to tell her but then he overhears her talking about a horrible beast right. and he thinks it's him mm -hmm. so he has this wonderful song where he's like I'm gonna build me a wall and I'm you know you stay on your side and you know and we just really feel for him and his what he goes through throughout the the show. Okay now was it hard for the actors to kind of get into character or what was that process like to get them to really feel the emotions of the actors? Oh they our actors are fabulous our <laughs> students they really right. are and Man, when you come and going. see it you're gonna be so impressed because they have we didn't have to I mean they they just it helps you know you have um, the source material you know they all of them have seen the movie so they kind of had a feel for these characters but even so they are bringing their own um, nuances and you know they're not trying to imitate exactly but they're bringing, bringing their, their own yeah now. yeah but but you can still say yeah that's Shrek yeah that's donkey you know it, the, the the things that make them lovable are there too okay and now that you've heard from her let's go over to another area in Caldwell County Lenora right down the street from here the Caldwell Arts Council tells me about their latest exhibit now for people who are not from this area tell me what is the Caldwell Arts Council what do you specialize in the Caldwell Arts Council is not just the building full of beautiful artwork on a monthly basis. We serve the community with all kinds of arts programming, both the theatrical, music, uh, live events, both from Lenore all the way to Granite Falls, all over Caldwell County. Okay. And right now you have an exhibit going on. Tell me about that. What's the name of it? The current exhibit, which you'll see shortly, is called The Other Group, Reunited. This group consists of 12 members who were all together about eight years ago. They've since moved from here to Wisconsin, to Wyoming, to other places. So they don't get together very often, but we're pleased to have all their artwork showing here again. Okay, so they pretty much just combined all their artwork and brought it here to the museum. They did, they gotcha. created new artwork for this exhibit. Okay. Now, for someone who wants to come here, is the museum, is it free to get in here? It is free, always free. We always have a new exhibit opening on the first Friday of each month. The reception, the opening reception for each exhibit is from 5 to 7 p.m. on that first Friday. Mm -hmm. Typical operating hours are Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturdays 10 to 2. Okay. The next exhibit will open on June 3rd. Okay. Now, explain some of this artwork, because I think it's all beautiful. Obviously, I love art and entertainment, everything that goes along with it. Pretty much, what exhibit, I guess, stands out, or what artwork stands out to you here? Mm, these pieces that we see right behind us are done by Tom Fieldman, who is the director of the art program at the Caldwell Community College. These are intaglio prints, and that is his specialty. 
His wife, Linda Lee, does more collage work. Different other art pieces include acrylics, encaustics, watercolors, and many, many uh, other mediums and other subjects. It's a very colorful, beautiful exhibit. And how could someone get in contact with you? The phone number for the Caldwell Arts Council is 828-754-2486. Our website is caldwellarts.com. Okay. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for having us. That wraps it up for Arts and Entertainment this week. Don't forget to check out Shrek the Musical here at the J.E. Hill Civic Center tonight through Sunday and also visit the Caldwell Arts Museum. I'm Ventress Chestnut. Ralph, back to you.